Hi, this is Randy Nordell, and this is a SimNet student video on how to complete pause and practice projects. First thing you'll want to do is navigate to SimNet, either from your LMS or directly through SimNet, and open up the SimBook chapter. I'm going to open up chapter one of the SimBook. First thing you'll want to do is click the table of contents, and you'll notice that every two to three student learning outcomes is a pause and practice project. Um, there are typically three to four per chapter, and they all build on each other. Um, first thing you're going to do is click on the first pause and practice project. That's going to take you to the instructions. These instructions are in Windows. We also have Mac instructions for the pause and practice projects. Check with your instructor about that. They could get you those uh, the Mac instructions for those. The data file is at the top here, and if there are any of the additional resource files that are needed, those would be available at the top also. So, um, so look for those. But what you'll do is you'll click on the data file and download that file, and then you will open it in the desktop application of the Office app that you're using. For in this instance, it would be Excel. Don't use the browser-based version Office Online. That's a scaled-down version, and it doesn't contain some of the features that are needed for these projects. So what you'll do after opening it in the desktop version, you'll scroll down to um, scroll down and do the instructions here. Lots of screenshots, very detailed instructions. Follow the instructions carefully and apply those to the file. As you get to the end, you'll see a file of what your solution should look like. You could take that and compare that with your solution file. After doing that, you'll save that and then you'll move on to the next pause and practice project. Click the table of contents and click the next pause and practice project. And you'll see that this project builds on the previous one. It'll ask you to open that previous file. So you'll need to complete the first one and then the second one and then the third one. So do them in order because they do build on each other. And again, same thing as the first one. Go through the instructions. They're very detailed instructions, a lot of screenshots and a solution file at the end. As you finish this one, you move on to the last one. And again, open the one that you previously completed and go on and finish uh, following the instructions and applying those to your files. And you'll see the solution files at the end and you can compare those with your solution file. Once you finish all of them, um, check with your instructor on how to um, get those to your instructor, whether it's uploading the file to your LMS or emailing, but your instructor will give you details on how to do that. So make sure you use the live de desktop application, not the online browser-based application, and just carefully follow the instructions. They all build on each other. And I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.